Well, the lighting is still pretty terrible, but um, and it's still using the phone as the camera. But there we go. Got all my rings. I I, I pre ream them with a drill bit. Um, these are since these are plastic foam, they don't really um bite and uh, and the drill doesn't really bite and catch like it would on cork and it doesn't really well I would imagine how it would on cork um, and it doesn't really um, how do I say this it doesn't really break apart the material it cuts it actually pretty cleanly uh, kind of more or less powders it up into little bit chunks like this which I save these I like to save these because what I'll do and then um, for my butt cap on my handles is I'll take so here's so there's the butt, right? I'll take a piece of Teflon and I'll wrap it around that, around uh, the, the the very end. And then I'll put tape around it to make a sort of cup. And I'll mix up a ton of, um, I'll take some cheap, like, five-minute epoxy. Just works fine. It doesn't have to be a really nice brand. Um, mix that. I'll put, I'll add this after plugging the hole in the blank. Um, pour that whole thing in after, uh, I'll mix, pour that in. And then I'll quick mix some, um... Syncor uh, little shavings in there mix that up and then take a little like a plunger almost designed to fit right in the 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 cup and it has the same diameter as the inside of the cup press it down and that forms a solid epoxy butt cap that I can shape and it's very very durable um, It's cheap it look it blends in since you've got the, the black bits of the syncor in there blends in perfectly with the handle the surface texture is a little different but it still looks quite nice and it's very functional as well. I use my rod if I'm using a two, the two hand, a two-hander, which is what this is going to be—a two-handed fly rod. I'll often hold it like this when navigating around rocks, jetties, and such, and almost use it as a walking stick, just as an extra little safety thing. It kind of helps out, and that epoxy bit helps keep the um, uh, helps to protect the rod and it helps protect the blank too. As you can see, the blank is—it is a little hard to see. There you go. You can see the blank is a little bit exposed that ring isn't as far out as I'd like, but the epoxy will cover it up. So anyways, but basically, basically the point of this little clip here is you can ream these however you like, but I prefer to start with a drill bit like this, ream out to pretty most of them to the minimum diameter I'm going to need, or a little less, and then I'll go back with a, um, I've got a little end mill here. I put this end mill in my drill press, and then I'll bring the press down, and then I'll move this around with my offhand, and slowly ream it out to the right size. You can do it with a file, you can do it with sandpaper. Um, oh, excuse me. A file would probably be the better of the two hand options to go, unless you're using extremely coarse sandpaper because the stuff is really not the easiest to sand. Uh, it responds really better to, um, to more mechanical um, forms of cutting as opposed to, or it, it responds more to cutting than it does um, abrasion. So. So that's that. Um, I'm going to do that, um, ream all these out, and basically the rest, uh, up until you glue this, the process is basically the same as it is with cork. Um, but yeah, ba basically exactly that. You're going to, the only thing I might, so oh, let me think actually. No, basically it is the same as cork. Uh, gluing these will be the same, basically exactly the same as cork is. You're going to want to apply epoxy, and I'm going to show this as well in a short clip after this. You're going to want to apply some epoxy to the blank where the ring is going to be slid onto. You're going to turn the ring slowly, you know, around the, around the blank as you push it on to help make sure that it doesn't squeegee the epoxy straight off. And the ring that it meets up against, you're going to make sure that face is totally covered in epoxy. May Introduce the two faces, turn them to make sure you got a good coverage on both, and then give it a good press, squeeze out, and I'm very, um, how should I say this, I'm pretty, I'm a little stingy with my epoxy, so I'll go back with the stick and I'll clean up that and I'll reuse it on the next one. And I can really use a lot, of, uh, save a lot of epoxy doing that, but basically from here on out, gluing is basically the same as it is with natural cork. Um, but you really have to do this on the blank. And since we... Did it, since we uh, roughed up those surfaces and then bored the hole, there is absolutely no abrasive in there that could possibly damage or you know scuff up your blank in the way you don't want it to. So I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish reaming these out and then I'm gonna get the gluing.